Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick review of the Stealth 700 Turtle Beach headset that just came out uh, on Monday, I think. It hasn't been out very long. And actually, I'm going to call this video a reboxing because I'm sending these back, and there's a few reasons for that. But um, let me, before I get into those issues, those deal breakers, let me tell you about some of the things I like about these this headset. Uh, so it is pretty comfortable. These kind of fake leather ear cups feel good. The headset itself fits good on my head. Um, the sound is pretty good for this type of headset, for a gaming headset. They're not, you know, it's not some high quality headphones that have amazing sound, but it is good. Good enough for gaming and movies and that kind of stuff. Uh, I find that kind of all gaming headsets, at least Turtle Beach ones that I've used, it almost sounds like you're listening to the sound through a blanket or something. I don't know. It's just kind of, it's a little bit muffled. And it's probably because I have a really nice pair of Audio-Technica headphones that sound amazing. Uh, and so maybe that ruins me a little bit. But the sound is good. Uh, I've actually bought a pair of Turtle Beach Heads, uh, uh, headphones that sounded so bad the first time I tried them I just immediately sent them back as soon as I heard the sound coming through them so these are good they've got good bass and you know you can change presets through the app and make it sound pretty good um, that's kind of the main things I like about it other than I mean it does look nice I like I like the fit and finish of the headset it looks good but there's too many problems with this uh, one of the big problems is with this microphone. Just looking at it, you can probably tell that when these are on your head, that microphone is going to be pretty far away from your face. And that wouldn't be a problem if the microphone was good. You know. So one of the problems I have is that I have to talk really quiet in my house because usually I play at night when my wife and kids are asleep, and if I talk too loud, they can hear me, they'll wake up. It's just the way my house is laid out. So I have to talk quietly, and when I was playing with friends the other night, they were all saying they, I was too quiet, they couldn't hear me, and that the microphone kept cutting out. Now I have another uh, set of, I have another pair of Turtle Beach headphones that don't have that problem, because it's got kind of a longer boom mic that goes right up to my mouth. They can hear me just fine. And the other problem with this is the... Uh, voice monitoring is also quiet. I have to crank it all the way up through the app to be able to hear myself and it's still a little quiet. So the microphone was kind of a deal breaker for me. Um, even before I learned about that issue, the other problem I had was with this left ear cup. So you, you've probably seen it in the reviews online on Amazon. Anywhere you look people are reporting the same problem of buzzing in this left ear cup. A lot of people have been commenting that, oh, all you need to do is turn down mic monitoring to fix it. And <clears throat> no, that is not true. You're just fixing kind of the feedback noise, the ambient noise that comes from mic monitoring, but that's completely different from the buzzing sound that some of us are hearing in that left cup. And it's really annoying. Um, I played for a while and when I went to bed like all I could hear in my left ear was that buzzing noise and like make art made it hard to sleep so I don't know I might have just been in my head but either way you do hear that buzzing sound you won't hear it if you're playing a game and it's got loud audio and sound effects but if you're just sitting on the menu of the dashboard or waiting for a level to load where there's no sound you're gonna hear that buzzing and it's annoying so <clears throat> I may have been able to look past that just because you know you don't hear it when you're playing but the mic issue just kind of sealed the deal for me these babies are going back and you know hopefully Turtle Beach will do something I'm not super confident that they can fix the buzzing issue or the mic issue through a firmware update so, I don't know, I, I'm just not confident that these are going to get fixed and, unless they release 
an updated model or something, which is totally possible. It does seem like people have had more success with the 600 version of these headphones. Um, they're a little different. They have kind of the fabric ear cups instead of the fake leather. Um, I don't think you can connect them to the app, things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. I really wanted these to be good, but they are not. And they cost 150 bucks, so you would hope that they would be decent. So I actually ordered to replace these, the older Turtle Beach 420X Plus headset, so we'll see if that's any better. Um, the reviews are definitely better. It's more time tested and I'm sure they've ironed some of the issues out, so I'll let you guys know if I like those or not, but unfortunately it is a sad day and I've cried a single tear for this headset and it's time to go back to Amazon where I got it from. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. Comment, let me know if you have anything you want to say, if you were able to fix any of the issues that I had. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys.